how to remove app access to gmail hi everyone welcome back to the channel in today's guide video i'll guide you through the steps on how you can remove app access from your gmail account so just make sure to watch the video till the end now over the years you might have signed up any of your accounts using a gmail or most importantly your google account and now you want to remove all those third-party app access from your gmail or your google account it is very simple to do that now for this you can just open the gmail app make sure you're signed into your respective google account then you want to make sure to tap the profile icon from the top right and then you simply want to go to this option called google account that you can find it over here once you go to this option called google account you're going to land on this page where you can simply go to this option called data and privacy or you can simply switch to security once you go to security if you scroll down to the bottom you're going to see a list of options where it says your devices or if you scroll down then you'll be able to see all these options called third party apps with account access so these are all of the applications that has access to your gmail or more importantly your google account because you have signed up using those what you want to do in order to remove this is you can just tap this option called manage third party access and once you tap on manage third party access you're going to see this type of interface here you'll be able to see all of the apps to remove a specific app you can just select them tap the option called remove access tap on ok and that application will successfully lose access to your google account and none of the apps will have access to it so this way you can remove app access to gmail hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it did help you make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and if you have got any more questions then feel free to leave them down thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in the next video